Alrighty, hello my lovelies. Today we are going to learn a fun technique for the holidays as a potential gift. And of course, what kind of craft would I do if it was not involving the galaxy? Haha. <laughs> Of course, you're going to need a canvas. It could be any size. I just picked a smaller one for fun. And of course, a paper plate to put your paints on. And a sponge. You'll, you'll want a sponge as a blending tool when it comes to acrylic paint. It comes in really handy. It doesn't have to be that type of sponge, but it can be any kind of sponge. Of course, I've grabbed three paintbrushes. They're all different. Uh, we got a medium one, a small one with a nice tip on it, and then of course a nice big one to push the paint around on the canvas. So for paints, I have a nice blue paint, some white paint, some black paint, and some purple paint, and some pink paint. And I've got this fun, sparkly stuff that I love to use on top of the acrylic paint when it's all done. So, first thing I want to do is, it doesn't matter what order you go in for when it comes to like the paints or anything, but I always like going with blue because blue is my favorite color. So I just kind of take my big brush and I just kind of go like this, then I would jump over into purple land over here and I kind of go like this. The main thing you want to go ahead and get done is that first overall layer because you're going to go right back over it once again with a whole other layer of galaxy. So I'm just going to go around, kind of see how I'm doing it like this. All right, then after that, maybe I would go ahead, rinse off my brush, just kind of mushing it around a little bit, giving some kind of impressionistic feel to it and stuff like that. Right, then I would take a little bit of my black and then across, around the edges, I'm just gonna kind of go like this. Wow, that clock. Now, even though we are laying down our essentially our first layer, this is when I would go in, take my sponge of some sort or a blending type of tool. I don't know if you have another brush to the side, but I love using sponges for this just because it does mix in well and it blends in well, as you can see how it's starting to blend in. Of course, it's picking up pieces of my black, which I do want, and it's bringing it around in different spots. thing you really want to keep in mind make sure you're actually blending with your sponge while the paint is wet because it's just easier to when it's dry you kind of in your dabbing around with your sponge you kind of have a little bit of a lost cause there I'm just saying sorry but you know it's kind of already set so you want to make sure as you're going around go ahead and just blend in those colors with an actual sponge Alright, now that I have my galaxy all done and ready to go, uh, well for the first layer at least, I'm just going to let this sit here and dry. So as you can see, went ahead and then I waited for my painting to dry, of course. Now I am ready for a second coat. You're probably thinking, oh man, isn't she just going to cover up what she already made? Well, yeah, that's true, but you see how thin the canvas is? We want it to be thin. A more of a thicker layer than this because you can still see the white like right here in the black that's all like the white canvas like coming like shining through the paint and everything so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that second coat and you know the thing is you don't really have to stay with the color choices you picked unless you like where those colors are and you want to keep it that way but it's still all right just to go ahead and maybe mix it up just a little bit. On the second layer, this is when you would start putting on a little bit more white here and there. Just give it a couple of clouds in the galaxy, like that. Then I would go ahead and grab my sponge. 
and mix it around like this. So just putting a few clouds in the sky and everything like that. Pieces of white and I'll put it over here. Kind of lining around some certain areas, like I'm going to line around my black just a little bit like that. Once again, to go ahead and blend when the paint is still wet. Because once the paint is dry, then it's a bit of a loss. We're going to go ahead and start concentrating on, of course, the stars. This is where you would take your fine tip brush right here. Now this would be the very, very last step. Once your first layer and then your second layer is done like you did, and you have your clouds where you want them to go and everything, and um, it's okay if it's not all the way completely dry yet. I still have fun with it and everything. Um, what I'm really going to focus on is mainly the cloud area, and I'm just going to put just basically wherever you want to put stars, put the stars. So the last thing I probably want to do to my awesome galaxy art is put on this sparkle paint and just different spots, you know, no big deal. And the thing about this is, you can see that it looks like a little white substance over here, but um, goes on pretty clear. I mean, I mean, it goes on pretty thick, but it dries clear, so. All right, then I'm just gonna wait for this to dry. Well, that's it, my lovelies. Um, I went ahead and turned on my light, so that way you can see the sparkles on the canvas and how they how that substance dried out and you've got this I wanted to go ahead and like upload another video for tomorrow which will have me going over I just wanted to teach you guys the galaxy technique and how to paint with acrylic paint on a canvas with um, this galaxy technique so um Tomorrow I will be uploading, not, I'll be talking through it, but I won't exactly be teaching you how to do the silhouettes just because not everyone will want to do a Peter Pan silhouette or anything like that. But tomorrow I will talk through my process when it comes to silhouettes and everything. Um, I've been working on them already. So hopefully talking through that time lapse, you guys will see that not only can you just do this as an option, you can also do um, some characters as an option. Another interesting thing you could probably do is probably go over on this with a quote. Now I will say I am not very good at quotes or just typography in general. It's one of my many, many weaknesses when it comes to art. So I'm gonna start genuinely in the middle here and let's see if I can do something. As you can see, like I said, typography is not my strong suit. I'll probably have to go over this a little bit more. Maybe make it a little more <laughs> appealing to the eye as it already is. But this is just an option for you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see y'all later. And I will see you tomorrow with another uh, video of me going through with um, silhouettes. So that'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure you click that subscribe button because I do post a tutorial every Thursday and I do post a vloggity vlog vlog every Saturday as well. On and off again at least. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, like my Facebook page, and make sure you check out all the other videos I have. You just, I don't want you guys to miss anything because it's a lot of doodling, crafty fun, vloggity vlog vlogs, and all that fun stuff. Have a wonderful week. Bye!